Okay, uh, so I guess we should start on time since we had some uh, free time uh, after lunch. Um, so uh, welcome back to everyone present here in the audience as well as online. Um, my name is Andrei Zorko. I'll be uh, chairing the first of the two afternoon sessions, uh, which will be more experimental, as you will see. So the first talk, uh, which is actually the only talk in this session, will be given by Professor Yuji Masuda from Kyoto University, and uh, he'll be telling us about the uh, planar thermal hole effect in Kitayo candidate alpha ruthenium trichloride. So please, Professor Masuda. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, so first of all, I'd like some organizer inviting me this, inviting me this workshop. So I'm very sorry I could not visit to, uh, India. So uh, today I'd like to talk about the, 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 uh, the issue of the, the summer pole effect in Kitayo candidate material. So I'm Yuji Master from Kyoto University. So let me first mention my uh, collaborators. Uh, this work mainly has been done at uh, my, by, by our group at Kyoto University and uh, Taka Shibachi's group at the University of Tokyo. So all crystals grown by Professor uh, Tanaka, Tokyo Institute of Technology, and uh, Nasu and Motome and Hiki and Perks and Moon uh, provided us provided us many important theoretical suggestions. So in my talk, I'd like to start with the introduction. Then I talk about uh, Kitai quantum screen liquid. Then I talk about half integer quantum summer hole effect in alpha ruthenium shell 3. Uh, after that, I will focus on uh, topological properties of this material. So specifically, I'll talk about a uh, prana summer hole effect on the channel number and some dynamic evidence for Dirac cone and viral gap. Finally, I'd like to discuss the, the origin of the summer hole effect, which is very, uh, very highly controversial recently. Okay, let me start with uh, the quantum spin liquid. Uh, in quantum liquid is a, uh, is a material in which quantum fluctuations melt to the long range order. And the most famous example of, of quantum liquid is uh, helium 3 and helium 4. Uh, which remain liquid even at t equals zero. So quantum spin liquid is a, a, a spin analog of, uh, of quantum liquid. And because uh, also the spins are strongly interact with each other, uh, they do not freeze even at t equals zero. One of the most important properties of, of quantum spin liquid is uh, fractionalized excitations and topological order, which appears as a result of huge quantum mechanical entanglement in the ground state. So actually, we are studying the uh, fractionalized, fractionalized excitation by summer transport properties. Uh, this is because the fractionalized excitations are charge neutral, and uh, they do not carry the heat. But they may carry the, uh, they do not carry the charge, but they may carry the heat. So if we heat up the one side of the crystal, the quasar part particle carries the heat, and then the temperature gradient appears in the longitudinal directions. Then we measure the uh, summer conductivity. The summer conductivity is a very powerful probe uh, for the eternal and low energy excitations. So if we apply the magnetic field, the temperature gradient may appear uh, 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 transverse directions of the crystal. And this is a summer analog of electric, electric hole effect. Then the importance of the summer hole, uh, okay, this is a summer hole uh, conductivity. The summer hole conductivity uh, is important because it may capture non-trivial very phase of quasar particles, providing access to various topological excitations. Okay, so uh, today I'd like to discuss uh, to, uh, 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 Kitai quantum spin lead. Kitai quantum, Kitai model discuss spin one half on two-dimensional honeycomb lattice with three in, in, in equivalent bonds. So Kitai interaction is bond dependent on Ising like and each bond favors different direction of X, Y, and Z. So the, if the spins aligns, align, uh, aligns around Z axis, the bond energies around X and the Y axis are not lower. Then the three, uh, uh, then the uh, spins cannot satisfy three different configurations simultaneously. So this leads to extended frustration. Because of these frustrations, uh, uh, the uh, quantum spin digit is uh, realized. 
In the Kitai model, spin one half is decomposed into uh, a four mana fermions. Uh, three of them are localized and one is thinner. So Kitai model uh, uh, contains uh, two, two important exotic particles. First is myelina fermions, as I mentioned. Uh, myelina fermion is a particle uh, which is its own antiparticles. Uh, the, the other one is uh, non abelian anions. So uh, if we exchange two particles, the wave function pick up phases at uh, theta. So in, the two, in 2D, the theta can take any values. So in this case, uh, uh, abelian anion appears. The, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, actually, the, uh, the exchange operation may be, uh, uh, maybe, uh, 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 maybe, uh, uh, more general. Then the, uh, 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 okay, the, uh, if the, uh, uh, exchange is, is discovered by the, uh, unitary matrix, the, uh, the non-abelian appears. The ex exchange of non-abelian is a quantum gating operations. Therefore, the, this is a key particle for topological quantum computation. So in the, uh, Kitaifu spin the uh, excitation is, uh, uh localized, uh, is, a uh, uh, G2 gauge flux, which is called the bison. The bison has energy gap. Uh, the bison is formed by localized myelina. And, uh, uh, but, but this bison has energy gap. So at high temperature, system is paramagnetic. At below the temperature, at, at low temperature, uh, below the Kitaim interaction, the, this fractionalization to G2 flux and the general myelina failing occurs. And uh, at very low temperatures, this is G2 gauge flux disappears. And the iterant byron fermions move around the, the, the crystals. So the, the, the quantum spin liquid state is realized. So let me discuss this quantum spin liquid step. The dispersion of the, this quantum spin liquid step, uh, 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 the, the excitation has uh, of the Dirac cone like dispersions. But uh, if you apply the magnetic field, the second nearest level hopping uh, is introduced by the uh, uh, so third part of it, uh, third order perturbation of the effect. And, uh, uh, similar to the quantum hole effect without random levels, uh, gap opens at the direct point. Then the, uh, no, topological, uh, topological, uh, uh, topologically non-trivial, uh, uh, initiating step, uh, the, uh, characterized by the Chan number plus minus one appears in, in magnetic field. In this case, uh, uh, the, a uh, chiral myelina current flow at the edge of the crystal. And the uh, thermal hole conductivity is quantized in the, uh, in, in units of quantum thermal, uh, thermal conductance. So what is important is, uh, this value is half of K0. So this is because the degree of freedom is, uh, of one myelina can be seen as half of my, half of a pyramid. Then the, if you observe that this half integer thermal hole effect, this is a direct evidence for the, uh, uh, of the Kitaev quantum spin lead. The, uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, strongly, uh, spin orbit coupled, uh, motor initiator, alpha ruthenium CL3 is a prime candidate for hosting, uh, uh, appropriate, appro approximate Kitaev quantum spin lead. So in this material, uh, ruthenium forms, uh, uh, uh honeycomb lattice and Kitaev interaction appears. And, uh, and actually uh, this material has, uh, a non kitaev term, such as Heisenberg and of diagonal term. But uh, many experiments show the Kitaev interaction is the dominant term of the, uh, the, uh, among these interactions. However, because of the non kitaev interactions, anti ferromagnetic order with zigzag spin structure uh, occurs at the near, uh, near temperature nearly 7.5 Kelvin. Okay. Uh, there are several uh, experiments which show the signature of Fractional, fractionalization in alpha denim CL3. For example, the specific heat, uh, which, uh, in which the, the, uh, phonon term is subtracted. So the, uh, okay, the multiple specific heat shows the broader peak as the temperature corresponds to the type of interactions. And, uh, uh, entropy release, uh, which is half of R log 2, uh, occurs, uh, at the end point of the peak. Uh, this, uh, and, uh, this has been Attributed to the uh, uh, fractionalization into uh, iterant myelin fermions. So similar, uh, actually this is first reported by Duetor, but uh, later the uh, Wiedemann 
Uh, the minimum methods are also uh, reports are similar phenomena. The second example, Raman scattering. The uh, Raman, Raman scattering shows a broad multiple continuum. And the uh, uh, integrated intensity of uh, uh, integrated Raman intensity increase with degrees of temperatures. So this is inconsistent with uh, bosonic magnums, but consistent with fermions. Recently, uh, the energy dependence of the uh, uh, Raman Intensity is consistent with periodic excitations. The, the third one is a neutron scattering experiment. The, there is a series of work by uh, Banerjee et al. reported the uh, multiple broad, uh, multiple continuum at the gamma point above the nerve temperature. Below the nerve temperature, there was a magnum excitation, but uh, uh, and, and this multiple continuum is, is good agreement with the uh, excitations uh, expected in Kitai quantum possibility. However, this is a little controversial because recently uh, this uh, multiple continuum can be explained by strong magnum um, unharmonicity. Okay, now the, uh, let me discuss how we integer quantum summer hole effect. So, uh, uh, in this material, uh, when the multiple field is applied parallel to the axis, this anti uh, this anti order is completely suppressed and the field induced to quantum disorder state appears. The most important point is that this phase is, is, uh, is whether the, a simple a spin polarized phase or a, a quantum spin digital phase, a quantum spin digital phase, or a different kind of spin digital phase. So, uh, to clarify this point, we apply the magnetic field uh, tilted from the C axis. And in this case, field component parallel to the, uh, 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 parallel to the uh, A axis suppress the uh, anti ferromagnetic order. So, here is a summer pole effect. The summer hole effect is very small in the zigzag anti order step. So upon entering the spin digital phase here, uh, the summer hole effect is strongly enhanced. And here is the extended figure. The, uh, we observe the uh, nearly plateau behavior of the summer hole effect. And that high field, it disappears. And uh, uh, the summer hole conductivity part to, 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 uh, part to the layers uh, that the plateau is very close to the half of the uh, quantum summer hole conductor, quantum summer conductors. But actually, the, uh, this is a summer measurement. We always have the error bar. So error bar is plus minus 5%. You know, it's very hard to determine the summer hole rate accurately compared to the electronic, uh, 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 electronic uh, quantum hole rate. And, uh, uh, if we tilt the magnetic, uh, tilt, tilt, uh, if we tilt the angle uh, to 60 degree, uh, we, again, we observe the summer hole plateau within this uh, era. Bar. So the, uh, so this is the so the neutral quasi particles are responsible for, for uh, summer hole effect. And the quantized plateau indicates uh, topologically protected. So degree of, uh, the uh, half value is, uh, uh, degree of freedom is half of conventional fermions. So this result, uh, demonstrates the, uh, the, uh, Myrna, presence of Myrna H. current. So the, uh, at high field, the, uh, summer, uh, whole, whole conductivity uh, disappears to zero. But actually, the, we have a large error bar in this, in these regions. And here's a phase diagram. The question is, uh, uh, uh this result indicates the uh, presence of a topological phase transition at high field. But again, this is, uh, controversial. The signature of the transition has been uh, and reported by Inesk neutron scattering. But actually, in this uh, field regions, I mean, where we observe the half integer quantum summer hole effect, the, uh, there was a the multiple continuum. And uh, uh, recent measurement of the angular variation of the heat capacity within the AB plane, so the symmetry breaking occurs at some, uh, some field here. And uh, recently, the, we observe the very tiny but very sharp jump of the summer conductivity as a multiple field. In, in these regions. However, no signature of such a transition has been uh, uh, suggested by Gurunazen parameter and the terahertz ESR. Therefore, the, this is a presence of the, this transition is still controversial. Okay, the, let me discuss uh, 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 the uh, reproducibility. The, the, until now, three groups, our group uh, and the ISSP group and the Max Planck group, uh, measure the summer hole, or, summer hole effect. Uh, on the crystal grown by Bridgman method. So uh, three groups of uh, the observed the uh, quantized uh, plateau, half quantized plateau in, in this uh, 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 in, in these resolutions. 
Actually, recently we measured uh, uh, several crystals, and uh, some crystal does not show condensation. Actually, actually we, uh, we find the, uh, uh, the thermal pole effect is not quantized in the crystal uh, with low of kappa x, 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 low kappa x, x values. Then the, our conclusion is uh, uh, to observe the thermal pole effect with the high quality single crystal. And, uh, here is the temperature dependence of the quantized thermal pole effect. So the, the concentration, how concentration is observed in this temperature range. And uh, at, at uh, low temperatures, deviation from the how quantized value is, is, has been reported. But actually, uh, this uh, deviation has, has been uh, discussed in terms of the decoupling of phonons and edge current. And at high temperatures, it shows that uh, it increases from the how quantized value. So this uh, result has been discussed in terms of the uh, so, uh, effects of the bison excitation. Well, now the, uh, okay, uh, the, uh, uh, studying the topological properties of, of this compound is crucially, uh, is a, is a, is a, uh, stringent test for the kitaio physics of this material. So I discuss, uh, three subjects. First, I discuss the Prana Samar Hall effect and the Chan number. In the, in the kitaio model, there are, uh, Chan number is determined by, uh, is plus minus one, and uh, it is determined, determined by the field component with respect to uh, the spin axis. But I'd like to emphasize the spin axis is uh, different from the crystal axis. But as, as shown this figure, there are, uh, this is uh, A axis and B axis and C axis, but the spin axis is different from the, this, this crystal axis. So here is a Chan number which is, which is, uh, is uh, uh, AC plane. The, there are two interesting phenomena. The first is, uh, uh, if you apply the magnetic field, uh, the, the 60 degree and uh, 60 degree and minus 60 degree, for example, the sign change occurs. So such a sign change has been reported by many groups. The another important interesting property is uh, Chan number is finite, even in the magnetic field parallel to the AB plane. So this means a uh, 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 prana thermal pole effect emerges. The prana thermal pole effect is, a, uh, it, 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 is a, even when the magnetic field and the thermal current is applied, parallel to the plane, uh, the final temperature gradient appears in the transverse directions. Then the, uh, the, 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 in this sense, uh, the uh, origin of the thermal pole effect is uh, completely different from the conventional two-dimensional uh, 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 electron gas. So here, this is a uh, uh, Chan number in the AB plane. The, Chan number is, is uh, plus one. Then the, uh, if, the, if we apply the magnetic field, uh, 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 apply parallel to minus A axis and uh, the A axis, Chan number is minus one. And the Chan number is zero uh, if the magnetic field is applied uh, parallel to B axis. So this comes from the symmetry of the uh, honeycomb lattice. So the uh, emergence of Prana Samar of Paul effect provides a strong test for the Kitaio physics. So here is a, a result of the thermal pole effect. So if the magnetic field is applied parallel to uh, minus A axis, uh, we observe the final thermal pole effect, the sign is plus, and it is quantized. So this is consistent with the uh, uh, Kitaio model, which is uh, pl uh, the, uh, the, the Chan number is plus one. So by definition, this, this result indicates that Chan number is minus one in uh, the magnetic field parallel to minus A axis. Then the, if we apply the magnetic field parallel to B axis, then the uh, kappa x y is exactly zero. Then the, this means the Chan number uh, this is consistent with the uh, Kitta uh, uh, physics. But actually, come, this comes from the, uh, I, I'm sorry, this is not consistent with Kitta physics, but this, is, this comes from the symmetry. So to, to, uh, to check this, we, uh, we, we, uh, we apply the magnetic field slightly different from the B axis. To, uh, to, from B axis to the axis, A axis, then the, uh, we observe the, uh, uh, also we do not observe the condensation, but the thermal pole effect is, is plus. So this means a uh, uh, thermal pole effect change the sign when the magnetic field is rotated up to the B axis. So this is very important uh, for understanding the mechanism of the uh, thermal pole effect. So anyway, the thermal pole effect 
uh, is cons consistent with the Majorana boundary, type quantum swing medium. Together, let me discuss the reproducibility of half integer quantum thermal hole effect. Until now, the whole groups uh, measure the thermal hole effect in the quantum uh, quantum, quantum, quantum spin limit step. The three groups uh, measure the, uh, the thermal hole effect uh, the, on the sample grown by Bridgman. So the, uh, they, they have the uh, plateau and half integer thermal hole effect, and the sign is consistent with the type model. And uh, 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 as I showed, the, the we have the plana thermal effect in the, uh, the sign and, uh, and the amplitude is consistent with the plana thermal hole effect. So the, in the in recently, the Princeton group, Princeton Pound's group, measured the, uh, the uh, kappa xy on the crystal grown by a uh, chemical vapor transport method grown by uh, Oak Ridge group. So they observed the no, no plateau and no quantization. But they observe the, uh, uh, these are inconsistent with the Kitab quantum affinity. But they observe the part of kappa xy uh, in parallel field. They observe the plana thermal hole effect. So they claim the uh, the origin, uh, origin of the summer, uh, summer hole is definitely topological. But, uh, yeah, as a present, we don't know the uh, difference of this, uh, uh, the origin, uh, this difference. But actually, the, as, as mentioned by, uh, uh, Hideo Takagi, uh, the crystal structure is different between the Bridgman and the CVT, at least at room temperatures. So, but I don't know that this difference of this, uh, this uh, difference of the crystal structure is the origin of this discrepancy. So the Princeton group also uh, measured the couple uh, of claims the origin of the plana thermal effect is bosonic because they do not observe the condensation and this monotonic degrees. So the uh, origin of the thermal effect is a bosonic edge current. So they uh, they claim that this is particle magnet. And actually the the, as, uh, uh, as mentioned by, uh, Professor Yumba Kim from Toronto University, the sign of a couple XY can be explained by topological magnum thermal hole effect in specific parameter range. So the, uh, okay, I'll come back to this point later. And the, uh, Princeton group also observed the, uh, uh, kappa XX shows, uh, uh, oscillating behavior. So they claim this is a, uh, a quantum oscillation of ferric feather particle. So the, in this sense, uh, they claim that uh, uh, see this system uh, this system has bosonic, both bosonic and ferric feather particles. But uh, however, uh, Max Planck group, this is not uh, quantum oscillations because the magnitude of, of the structure of kappa XX is smaller for the higher conductivity crystal and uh, decrease rapidly upon cooling below one Kelvin. Actually, we also measure the kappa XX at low temperatures and this, uh, we observe that this association like behavior at high temperature, uh, in the quantum spin state. But this completely disappears below 0.3 Kelvin. Okay. And uh, we also observe the no oscillation in the, uh, uh, in, in, uh, in the anti-granite quarter state, uh, grown, uh, in, at least in the crystal grown by Bridgman. Okay. So anyway, coming, I, I, I tell you, I'd like to focus on the origin of the, Summer hole effect. The, uh, okay, there are two scenarios, Majorana or Magnus. As I mentioned, Chanaba cannot distinguish two uh, scenarios. But the important point is that uh, here, the, in the Majorana Fermion scenario, if the magnetic field applied parallel to B axis, the excitation is gapless. But in the, bos the bosonic scenario, it's gapped. Actually, the, in the Majorana scenario, the Dirac cone appears. Yeah, even in the, uh, it's a multi-field the B axis. And uh, if it is a multi-field tilted along the B axis, the uh, gap closed. On the other hand, in the uh, topological uh, uh, magnum case, the gap opens the uh, at the multi-field part of the B axis. The gap amplitude uh, is nearly one, one milli EV. There was a specific heat measurement for parallel multi-field part of the B axis is very important to distinguish these two scenarios. So now I'd like to talk about the, uh, uh, the recent uh, uh, the result of the uh, Dirac cone and the Majorana gap. This may, experiment mainly has been by Takashibauchi's group. So the two measures are uh, the specific heat very accurately on the very tiny crystal. Actually, very tiny crystal is very is necessary for the specific heat measurement because small bending strongly influences the 
uh, the, uh, uh, the specific heat. So the, we, we, we use the log relation calorimetry, and the, the agenda is uh, uh, specific heat of the uh, uh, agenda is uh, less than 0.1% of the typical PPMS. And uh, we, we need to apply the multiple very accurately uh, in the, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to parallelize with the crystal axis. So that for this purpose, we, 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 uh, we use a two axis raw data. And the, uh, here is a, uh, improve, apply, improve variation of the thermal quality. Uh, sorry, specific heat. The other, as I showed, as you from here, the, the specific heat shows a very sharp peak when the multiple field is applied the part of the axis. So it means that we can apply the, uh, the multiple very accurately relative to the crystal. Okay, the, let me discuss the result. When the magnetic field is applied to parallel to B axis, the armchair directions. So here is a, a specific heat divided by, uh, a specific heat uh, divided by T squared put as a function of T. The other to emphasize, this is a raw data. We did not subtract the phonon, sub, uh, phonon, phonon contributions. Uh, most important point is here. Uh, okay, the, so uh, we apply, we measure the specific heat down to open to, to, to Kelvin and the specific heat to the, uh, the nearly TCT cube dependence. But the part important is, uh, uh, find the intercept at t equals zero over a wide field range above, uh, uh, second tesla, anti one border, uh, 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 near, uh, to, to, to p field. So this means that uh, specific heat is proportional to t squared. Okay. Then the, we slightly tilted the magnetic field. The, if we, we tilt the magnetic field, only 1.5 degree, the, uh, this uh, T square term disappears when the field is slightly away from the B axis. And we, uh, if we hit, hit by the, uh, assuming the gap, the gap closing occurs, as shown here, at the uh, magnetic field parallel to B axis. So this is very important for the, the, uh, the, uh, origin of the thermal polyphilic. So, this result is totally incompatible with the 2D magnum and phonon. So, this means the multi contribution of the specific heat shows the uh, t, t, uh, t, uh, t square dependence, namely the uh, linear dispersion indicating the direct cones. So, based on this result, the, uh, uh, we exclude the uh, topological magnum scenario, which is the gap is order of 1 milli EV. Okay, next let me discuss a uh, uh, multiple field applied parallel to the A-axis. The, if the multiple field is applied to the A-axis, the, in contrast to the B-axis, uh, C over T square goes to zero at T equals zero limit. Now at low temperatures, uh, it, uh, C, uh, it shows a linear dependence. This means that uh, uh, this, then that this comes from the phonon contributions. Uh, actually the phonon contribution is, is T cubed dependence. So the, if we subtract the phonon contribution, the uh, specific heat shows the exponential behavior. Okay, then the, okay, I skip the details of the argument, but the, the according to the, uh, the theory, theory of the type model, the, uh, the gap is proportional to T cubed, and uh, also impossibly proportional to the minor gap, uh, by, uh, sorry, uh, flux gap. So flux gap is roughly Estimated uh, proportional to this specific max of the specific heat. So, this in this plot, the we plot uh, the gap uh, t, uh, t t uh, times t max square, and uh, we found this is exactly proportional to uh, h cube. So, this is uh, quantitatively consistent with the uh, Majorana gap. So, summarizing the specific data, the uh, if the magnetic field applied parallel to uh, uh, A axis, uh, 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 amateur directions, the bulk gap is, gap, bulk gap, which is proportional to H cube, is, is formed. So this is consistent with the, uh, Majorana gap. Then the, uh, this means, uh, bulk is gap. On the other hand, uh, if the multiple is apart from the axis, we observe the final to kappa xy, which is quantized. So this means, uh, thermal current flow but, uh, does not flow the, is a bulk. So for its flow at the edge. So this is, this is a kind of a bulk edge correspondence. So if the multiple field is applied parallel to B axis, the gap closing occurs. And, uh, uh, 
but it is not gapped. The Dirac cone appears. So in this case, the, we observed uh, no uh, kappa xy. So these are consistent with the Kitarev model. So finally, the, uh, let me discuss the origin of the thermal hole effect, whether it is ferronic or bosonic. As I mentioned, uh, okay, uh, was, uh, some people are not still con convinced by the quantized kappa x y because of the following reasons. Uh, we will have a summer hole effect. However, the, we cannot determine kappa x y accurately. As shown by this figure, the error bar is always 10%. Because we can uh, again, this is a summer measurement. So very difficult, difficult to determine kappa x y accurately compared to the electronic summer hole, quantum hole, hole effect. And as I mentioned, the deviation from the quantized value at low temperature are uh, possibly due to the decoupling between the, the edge current and uh, phonons. So the, actually the, we cannot fully explain the sample dependence in particular gross method difference. Therefore, the, we need a new approach to tackle the quantized thermal hole issue without relying on the magnitude of kappa xy. So the, Finally, I'd like to, to uh, discuss the conservation of kappa xy can be concluded by specific heat, data, and the sign of plana thermal hole effect. Okay. The, let me discuss uh, the, uh, what, what going on the specific heat and the plana thermal hole effect. When the, uh, the magnetic field direction is uh, magnetic field rotated across the B axis. So, as I mentioned before, the specific heat, uh, uh, C over T square has finite intercept. At, uh, uh, exactly when the amount of heat is applied to the B axis, but it shows a uh, deviation from the, uh, if the amount of heat is tilted. So that if you estimate del uh, delta uh, by using some model, the gap closing occurs here. So the first conclusion is the gap closing at the amount of heat to B axis. Okay, uh, let me discuss the prana summer of all whole vector. As I mentioned before, prana summer of all vector change the sign when the uh, magnetic field is rotated across in, across, rotated across the B axis. So, whole sign changes at uh, magnetic field parallel to B axis. So, these are totally different phenomena. Uh, so, so that this, this two distinct features are observed concurrently at magnetic field parallel to B axis. These are very important for uh, understanding the origin of the summer hole effect. Let me discuss this finally. The, in the fermion case, the topological band is above and below the fermion energies. And when the, uh, uh, the summer hole effect, plan summer hole effect change the sign, the band swapping occurs. And in this uh, point, in the point, the band crossing occurs at the fermion energies. So in the fermion model, the sign change of kappa xy is always accompanied by gap closing. On the other hand, in the, uh, in the boson case, the topological band is always above the uh, uh, energy, uh, at, finite, uh, at finite energies. And uh, the, when the band crossing occurs, the gap is always finite. So the gap is always finite, and the sign change of the prana thermal hole effect is not related to the gap closing. So I'd like to remind you in alpha tenium shell swing, so alpha the gap closing and the sign change of the plana thermal hole conductivity concurrently occur at a magnetic field parallel to B axis. So this is a case of, of fermions. So the, based on these two independent phenomena, we conclude the thermal hole effect is fermic in origin. We, uh, we, uh, and uh, in this case, thermal hole conductance should be quantized. The other thing was that in this argument, we did, uh, we did not, uh, argument, uh, did not rely on the, uh, the uh, magnitude of kappa xy. Okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, it's time to finish. The, uh, okay. Uh, before, uh, conclusion, let me discuss, uh, uh, phono thermal hole effect. So recently, uh, uh, Shellbrook group claims the uh, presence of thermal hole effect in the magnetic field is tilted from the, the 
uh, uh, C-axis. Uh, because they claim that this uh, this for no summer for effect because of uh, 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 temperature dependence of the uh, summer kappa XX is very similar to kappa XY. However, uh, our group and also the uh, University of Tokyo's group shows a uh, no no correlation between kappa X and kappa X Y. And also looking at the data by the same group, the uh, they also shows a no correlation between kappa X and kappa X Y. And that is uh, as mentioned as claimed by Princeton group, and also uh, we observe the same result. As a uh, field dependence of kappa X X, uh, field and temporal dependence of kappa X X shows an anti correlation to kappa X Y. So our conclusion is. No evidence for for no summer hole effect in this compound. So again, this is a controversial. Okay, let me summarize my talk. So we observe the uh, half integer quantized summer hole effect. This, this is evidence of the uh, presence of uh, minor failure and non avalanche enemies. So the result is uh, reproduced by two other groups. So we observe the plan summer hole effect that is quantized. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, the, we obtain the summer, summer, summer dynamic evidence for the direct clone in multi-field parallel to B axis and the viral gap in multiple field parallel to A axis, as shown in this figure. So these are consistent with the viral band of the quantum simplicity. And this result uh, indicates a uh, bulk uh, edge correspondence. So the gap closing and the sign change of the planar summer hole effect occurs concurrently at multiple field parallel to B axis. This in the the pheromonic origin of the summer of all effect. So this naturally explains the quantization. Okay, uh, is that, uh, well, thank you very much. Okay, let's uh, uh, first thank Professor Masuda for this very interesting talk. Uh, are there any questions from the audience? Thanks for the nice talk. Uh, so I have a question regarding this issue about two different samples, the Bridgman sample and the Oak Ridge sample. Uh, so you said that in the Oak Ridge sample, uh, these plateau is not seen, uh, but I want to ask you the question that if I think about the experiments done at low magnetic fields uh, yeah. in the zigzag ordered phase, yes. are there already differences in these two classes of samples that are noticed uh, uh, inside yeah. the magnetically ordered phase? Yeah, okay, yeah. Actually, the, uh, okay, something like this question, the, the crystal grown by chemical vapor transport, CBT method, uh, actually, uh, uh, we observed this kind, uh, we and uh, our group and uh, Max Planck group observed that uh, we produce this data, association data. But in the, the crystal grown by Bridgman, in which we observe the quantization, we never observe such association in the artificial uh, border state. So, uh, Takagi, uh, Professor Hide Takagi, uh, claims that uh, this association arises from the, some kind of the local multi border. But still controversial. Maybe the, the difference was a slightly important or something. Sorry. Uh, so I was thinking, so what about the zero magnetic field data? Uh, uh, the, uh, in the uh, zero uh, magnetic uh, field data, uh, yeah. are there already differences in these two classes of um, uh, samples? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, that's okay. Uh, zero field data is more or less similar. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Oh, yeah, zero field data is more similar between two groups. Uh, actually, the, the uh, it shows the enhancement below the narrow temperature. So the uh, zero field data is very very uh, is very hard to distinguish uh, crystal grown by Bridgman or CPT. Both of, both show the uh, show the very similar result. Temperature dependence, but the magnetic field dependence is very very different. Okay, thank you. Uh, are there any further questions? Are there any questions from the online audience, maybe? Sir, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so I have a fundamental question that uh, why applying an in magnetic field of about seven Tesla 
stabilizes the skin disordered phase in this alpha adrenergic gland. Whereas when we feel, apply a field along the A axis, a higher field of about 14 tesla is needed to suppress the ordering which occurs at 7 kelvin. Uh, I'm not sure. Your question is like, if I press a barrier field along the A axis, a strong magnetic field, right? Uh, pardon, please? I'm uh, sorry, uh, could you repeat the question? Yes, sir. So my question is why the magnetic ordering suppresses when we apply an in-plane field of about 7 tesla, like uh -huh. along the AB plane, but, uh -huh. uh, uh, but when we apply, a, we need a higher field of about 14 tesla to suppress the same transition when the field is applied parallel to C-axis. Yeah, your, your question is, uh, uh, why is the magnetic order is suppressed by magnetic order applied to P-axis? Uh, and, yes, and, uh, what Yes, and, uh, what happened to uh, spin dynamics? Like, this is my question. Yeah, okay. Uh, this separation occurs by the increase of the magnetic energy. But usually, the magnetic energy over the temperature decreases with the magnetic field. Uh, uh, your question is if I have the magnetic field of part of the axis? Uh, okay. Here's my question. Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, my first question is why the magnetic ordering suppresses when you apply a field of Seven Tesla along the AB plane. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is a uh, but uh, magnetic anisotropy increase if we apply magnetic field. Then the uh, but usually the in the uh, the, the anti magnet if I apply the magnetic field, the temperature is sometimes suppressed because of, because of the, the some suppression of uh, because of, uh, anti uh, the, it increases anisotropy. Anisotropy changes. But uh, if the magnetic field applies a uh, uh, C axis, again, the uh, magnetic uh, field, uh, anti field order is suppressed. But in such case, we need to apply more, more than 30 tesla. The, 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 your, your question is, but usually the, in the anti field magnet, if you apply the magnetic field, sometimes the anti field order is suppressed by the, by the, by the change of the anisotropy. So earlier, when there was no field, the spins were in a zigzag anti ferromagnetic order. But now, with increasing field, disordered is uh, like we, we get at the, about seven tesla, we get a disordered phase. So, how the spins align when we apply this field? Why we get a disordered phase at a higher field? Yeah, so, so uh, your question why disorder phase appears in high? Yeah, why, why is this transition? Uh... Orientation independent, that's the question, I guess. Ah, transition is orientation. Okay, you mean that if the magnetic, uh, uh, the, yeah, this comes the magnetic anisotropy. Okay, so uh, the, due to magnetic yeah. anisotropy. Yeah, magnetic anisotropy, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, are there any further questions? If not, let's uh, close the session by uh, thanking again Professor Masuda.